Hey everyone, Life of Pets here. So today I want to introduce our new beta fish. He is a Dumbo Half Moon Placot and we have decided to call him Murphy. As you can see, he came to us in terrible condition. When we went to the pet store, I didn't have any intention of buying another beta fish, but when we saw him, we just couldn't leave him on the shelf. We spoke with management and they agreed to give him to us at a discount because he just looked so sick. When we got home, we took this very quick video footage of him in this terrible water so that we had proof when we wrote to corporate. We also decided to test the water so that we could also attach those results to show that the practices that they carry out, they're just not good enough. This poor little guy was in water that was just disgusting to look at. But if it's disgusting to look at, then we all know that the results are not going to turn out very good as as far as the ammonia levels so when I did the testing I did expect it to be on the high side and the results were and this poor little fish that means he was living in water that was burning his whole body and that is why he just looked so chewed up once we'd taken the video, we did give him nice, clean, fresh water. So what he is in now is completely clean water. So when you see him go into the tank, it is not store water. It is fresh, clean water. You can see he is not very happy. He was very, very thin clamped. And after we've had, we'd had him for about two days, we noticed that it was just in certain lights. He looked like he got this gold dust all over him. And then we realized he had velvet. So not only had he had such a poor start in the cup, we then discovered that he had velvet. And it turned out that the store's practice is to just use aquarium water to do the water changes. And obviously, if their other tanks are full of parasites like ick and velvet and a whole slew of other things, then the beta fish are going to get it as well if that's what their water is being changed in. So unfortunately, this little guy now is under treatment for velvet. We have never had a fish with velvet, so this is a whole new experience for us. I had to do a lot of reading and a lot of research, and there actually isn't that much out there on velvet. We decided to get some medication and it will be a long treatment for him, but already we are seeing a huge improvement. We've had him now for about, I think it's 10, 12 days, I'm not really sure, and he is doing a lot better, but he still has a long way to go. His, his fins are still very clamped at times, but he is a lot more active than he was when we brought him home. When we brought him home and put him in the tank, Initially, he did go round and explore, but then he just did an awful lot of bottom sitting after that. But now he is much improved, much more active, and I am very hopeful. I have to be honest, in the first 24, 48 hours, I really didn't think he was going to survive because he wouldn't eat and he was just very, very pitiful. But now he has got a huge appetite and he is very, very active. As you saw, we decided to use the Mardle Copper Safe and unfortunately, it is not likely that the plants will survive the treatment. However, it is likely that the parasites are maybe in amongst the plants now. So there was, we didn't want to risk taking them out and putting them in another tank. And also, he did need something in his tank to make him feel safe and secure. Although the tank does need to be much more heavily planted, we don't want to do that because obviously we don't want to put plants in there knowing that they will likely die with this treatment. We have seen a big improvement in he doesn't have anywhere near the number of parasites all over him that he did. So it does appear to be working, but from everything I've sort of read and, and just basically what I have been able to find, it does look like it will be about a month, possibly longer before we're absolutely certain that he is fully clear of it. He is still irritated with the parasites. You can see that when he's swimming, he will sort of suddenly start swimming very erratically and then he'll rub up against something so he obviously still does have a lot of parasites you can still see them when you see him in certain lights he is absolutely covered in them but he does have an awful lot less than he did especially in the head area you can see those little, what look like little white spots they're actually his uh, some of his like scale color coming through 
Whereas when we first got him, all we could see were all these like spots of gold. So his colour is finally changing. He's going from like a dull, very, very dull grey to quite a, a metallic -y blue colour. So I think he's going to be absolutely stunning when he is completely clear and his true colours can come through and he's obviously feeling a lot healthier. If this treatment is successful, then I will do a full video on what we did and how we did it. But until I'm certain that what we're doing is the right way to go, then I don't really want to put it all out there and then it not work out. So if it does work, then I will do a full video on it. He's living in a 10 gallon tank and we've taken the divider out of it and we moved Murdoch into a smaller tank. The reason we did it that way round is very often with medications, there is less room for error if the tank is a lot smaller. So we decided that we would give Murphy the 10 gallon and just move Murdoch. Also, we have discovered that Murdoch is probably a female. She was bought as a male and labelled as a male, but we've been thinking for a while that she is a female. She just has the female shape and the fins have not grown out to look like a male. Also, she appears to have the egg spot as well. So we would have had to move her out anyway. She couldn't have shared a tank with Murphy, even if it was divided, because that is not advisable because of the hormones that they both give off and they can just drive each other crazy and it can be very stressful. So Murdoch has now become mini and Minnie is now living in this tank while we sort of decide how we're going to move things around because initially she was going to share the tank with Murphy and then obviously he's ended up sick and she's ended up a female so we're just trying to now decide what we're going to do with it. We're not sure if we're going to put it in the 75 female beta community tank or whether we're going to keep it in her tank on her own and maybe in the future breed with Theo. We're just not sure yet what we're going to do. So that's all up and coming and still to be decided. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give Murphy a big thumbs up and we'll see you next time.